now mm, okay so now we previously had only one item in our complete json we just have one json object inside our complete array but that would not be the real scenario case in a real scenario you will have multiple items of similar type so let me show you one scenario of that type Okay, so now you see that we have the JSON object, we have a JSON array, but inside our JSON array we have multiple objects 3, 4, 5, and so on. We have around 9 10 objects. So now let's try to parse this list and display all the objects. So let's go back, change the URL. I will comment this one. And our new URL is demo list. Now, if you look, previously we had one object here. So, what we have done, we fetch the first object and we put it into our final object here but in in this scenario in current scenario we have a complete list so we cannot do that what we have to do we have to use a for loop so for in i equals to zero i less than parent array dot length i plus plus And this for loop will run till here. So now <clears throat> this this for loop will run ten times because our item has ten ten arrays in it. What is the error? Okay, never mind. So we will fetch the object by the indexes. And instead of zero, we will pass i in here. Okay, we are missing a couple of here. Okay, <coughs> so we will get it from i. We will get final object, and from the final object, we will get the movie and the ear. And we have to do this ten times. So this for loop will take care of of that. We will get the movie name and the year. Now we will use another string buffer. New string buffer. And we will do something like this. Final buffer data dot append. Movie name plus here, and after that, we will add one and line here. And what we will return, we will return final buffer data dot to a string. So this for loop will run for the first time, we will get the first object, we will fetch the movie name and the year and then it will append into this final buffer data. Then it will run again for the second time, third time and when it is done it will return the final object. Now let's run this and see what happens. So we are running our project and it has started. Now I will click on the hit button and let's see what happens. Alright, so we have got a complete list of items, Avengers, Century Stellar with the ear names associated with it. So if you want to parse a list of items, you will need to use a for loop. Now let's talk about the last and the final scenario in which you have to properly display your data. 
and uh, right now we are using one one text view here okay but that is not representable what we need actually is the same thing we had done in here okay so what we have to create is this thing so we will be working in that way so json query reload okay so this is what we are trying to we are trying to create right this is a representable data so the movie name year tagline duration director and the cast and the story so we'll be creating this thing and then we'll be working on on creating this stuff let's see our final json and how does it look like so we have movies list movies okay that movies data okay so this is our final json that we will be part will be parsing and will be displaying it in a proper list with proper images and all the required information and this is our final json it does not look that good right so let's let's use something called json viewer we will copy this json we will open this json viewer and you can copy your json here and you can go to the viewer tab and it will properly format your json and it will put it uh, so that you can understand it so we have a first json object inside that we have a movies array and then we have 0 to 9 10 items the first item has these details movie avengers year rating duration tagline and in the first object we have another array now this thing is complicated right so we have a json object we said we have a json array and that in that we have a json object and inside the json object we have another array and in that array we have json objects and this is the name of the star robert downey jr chris evans and martha Fuller. right so we'll be getting this data so it's a pretty complex json if you are able to parse it properly and if you are able to understand this thing properly then you can parse any json so let's get started now uh, one more thing if you will uh, if you will follow the same approach then you will have plenty of code and it will be not manageable in the end so we will be making some changes we will be introducing a new thing called models and that will help us understand and manage the data properly. So this was our async task structure. We have already seen it. We extends to the async task. We do the work in the background and you show the result on the UI in the on post execute method. And to call the async task, you need to call new json task.execute URL. Now let's see what are models. 